So two teams are coming out onto the pitch now, and let's hope that we get a good result here this afternoon. County are wearing their home strip of all amber this afternoon. They are skippered again by David Pipe. Earlier this year, we're underway. Rochdale are kicking off, and uh, County are playing from right to left in this first half. And County played two rows on the far side. County tapping in these early stages and they're bursting through and it's Pipe bursting through it's Pipe shoots and Pipe shoots and the keeper Lillis takes it and that was from fully 30 yards a good bursting run from David Pipe Gary Dicker plays it right for that's a great looking ball to the far side and uh, they managed to hold it in it's Cummins Cummins plays it back to Vincenti but the ball's behind him but Vincenti is able to uh, give it to Rose in it comes header is over the crossbar and that's the first real meaningful attack from Roxdale keeping possession of the home side, but County have broken it up and it's with Crow. Crow there, but he loses possession. The ball is played over the top, but Yakubu can only head it uh, down. And in comes a snapshot, and it's in! And it's Vincenti who has beaten Pitchley with a screaming shot from fully 30 yards. After four minutes, Pitchley stood no chance. It's gone in off the post, but it's a heck of a strike and County find themselves one down here at Spotlands to a strike of absolute quality, Tim Lane. That's an unbelievable strike and fully 30 yards here from Peter Vincenti. Plays it to Land on this near side. Land plays a great looking pass through and County are being stretched again. It's the home side coming through. In comes the shot, it's taken a deflection and uh, Cummings there had all the room in the world. Plays inside. County's good football here, Hughes to Wilmot, Wilmot towards the edge of the area, has to go backwards there, plays it inside to Zabrowski's feet, Zabrowski, but Zabrowski loses it, goes for the tackle, and wins it back, shoots, snapshot, and it's taken by Lillis, but that was good play by County, floodlights are on here at Spotland, as Pike takes the ball off his right uh, foot, goes forward, and then uh, holds on to it and plays it back to Chapman, Chapman switches play to Wilmot, one touch, takes a beautiful off his right foot, cuts inside, does Wilmot, but then is fouled by Rafferty. Not the most pleasant, it's cold, it's damp, and it's a bit losing 1-0. The free kick is taken, it's to the far side, it's headed, and it's headed wide by Worley at the far post, but the linesman's flag is up. What they've got to do is they've got to really have a handball against Crow there. What they've got to do, first of all, is win the ball on holder. And uh, really, they've got to win the midfield battle because to me, they're not at the moment. I think it's the home side who are looking very comfortable. It's Oliver Lancashire. Plays the ball square to his uh, defensive colleague O'Connell. O'Connell going for has got all the time he will to uh, take the ball forward and then play a ball over the top, which is an absolute beaut. And they've got behind Morley, they've got behind County as the ball is played in on the far side. But it's easy for Pitchley, but Morley going forward. Chips a ball over the top, but again, County. Russell getting plenty behind the ball as Pipe helps it on to Yukubu, County appeal, referee is going to say it is a corner kick, which indeed it is. And as Robbie Wilmot will take this right footed, plenty of bodies in the box, forward it goes, but it's still not completely cleared and it falls to Chapman, Chapman hooks it forward and it's headed by Minchel and it's headed just over the top of the linesman's flag was up anyway, it wouldn't have counted, the keeper was well off his line. Crow gets it, Minchel puts his foot on it, he turns and plays it, but it's a poor one, and it's picked up by Cummins, he finds Vincenti, loose pass there from Minchel, then they play it into Lund, now it's with Henderson, and Henderson, but Chapman, but it's a free kick given away in a central position by Hughes, the referee deems that to be a foul. Free kick is going to be taken, it is, it's curled in, but it's curled wide, a goal from Rose, it comes to nothing, and County, Breathe a sigh of relief there from that free kick. And again, the home side pick up the loose ball, play it behind County. Hughes has got to deal with it. Hughes has got to deal with it. And he doesn't, and it's going to be a free kick against Hughes there for Lund, uh, for a foul on Lund. And uh, the referee, I think, is going to book Hughes for that one. He's got, is, he got, is he going to book him? Indeed he is, and that's the first booking, and it's nearly half an hour gone here. The free kick is about a yard or so in from the touchline, just over halfway inside the Newport County half. The home side do look comfortable as Lancashire beats Flynn and plays the ball square. 
to O'Connell. O'Connell going for it towards halfway. Then chips the ball forward, looking for the forward run of Dean Chanty. It's won by Worley on the far side, but it's only as far as Michael Rose. He plays it into Vincenti. Holds off the tackle of Pipe, then plays it to Rose again. Ball is played inside. Again, it's with Lancashire. This time in Newport County territory is the centre back. Played through. Good looking ball there. And uh, it's going to end up back with Rafty, who's made the run into the county box. They didn't pick him up. And they've hit the bar from about two yards. And now it's 2 0. And it's Cummins who's got it. And County were all at sixes and sevens. They hit the bar, the ball has come back and Cummins has made it 2-0 after 36 minutes and County really were cut open. Here's the announcement. In fact it's Collins. Cummins it is. Who has got it? And it's 2-0 and really County, you've got to say it, they were cut open there. Rafferty got into space and the ball was played between two players. The ball was centred across, they hit the bar, County failed to clear it, and Cummins really put it into a net. He gave Pitchley no chance, Tim Lane, it's an uphill task now. But it's all too easy for Rochester to clear, but they haven't quite cleared their lines yet. They now head it clear, and it's with Chapman, Chapman plays it forward, Zabrowski is headed on, and uh, County looking for it, but Rochester managed to clean up, and they come away with it, as Zabrowski gets a good tackle in, and does well Chris Zabrowski and he's won the throw-in which wasn't because the throw-in should have been for the home side and uh, I've got to, be, got to say it, he's given the county a throw-in Rafferty the creator of the second goal, good cross in Wally heads it but uh, only straight to a, a player there from uh, Rochdale and the ball is chipped in but Yakubu wins it but again it's out into touch and county are coming increasingly under pressure here and uh, County aren't only 2-0 behind, they're now finding themselves with uh, yellow cards uh, to go for this as well. And Tim Lane is not looking very good at all, is it? No, this is, hasn't been, I think, this performance uh, by any stretch of the imagination for Newport County. Minshaw goes for it, he doesn't get there. And it's uh, number 40, Henderson plays the ball back to Rafferty, plays a lovely ball through the middle and finds Dicker. Dicker transfers the ball to the far side. Then the ball played in, finds Allen, Allen through, they're on side, and it's a, it's a save there, and it needed to be made there for Matthew Lund, and uh, the save made by Pitchley, and the linesman said he was on side, I think he was on side, and I agree with Michael Perman, I don't think there's any, any doubt about it, one minute of stoppage time, and half time can't come quick enough, and they're playing through County again, and there's Henderson on the ball, Henderson chips the ball to the far side, he finds Vincenti, Vincenti and it's saved by Pitchley and it could have been 4-0 in this first half, it's only 2-0 and the half-time whistle can't come quick enough and the team talk at half-time will be one which uh, really I want to be in the dressing room because quite frankly he's going to have a lot to say as Justin Ember on this performance but to be fair it's the home side who played terribly terribly well in this first half team. Yes, and you know, I give Rochdale a lot of credit, but um, it seems like quite a few tired players out there. Half time, uh, it's Rochdale 2, you will count in your. Rose with the throw, and almost level with the edge of the county penalty. He throws it inside Wall, he's led it well though, gets it to Washington. And then now it's Wally going forward. Now it's Chapman onto it, and now it's with Crow. Crow on the touchline, Crow holds it up, he cuts inside. But Rochdale get plenty of bodies behind the ball. Great ball play to Wilmot on the far side. Wilmot just inside the touchline, crosses it, and it's gone for a goal kick. And it comes to nothing, but that was at least a slightly encouraging Michael Burnley. Wally launches it, ball hands up. And uh, that was a poor one, and it's easily cleared. Wally wins the ball in the air, but it's with Henderson. Henderson is through, but thank goodness there. Jackson just about got a timely tackle in. It was Jackson, and uh, but they've broken it up again, and it's Henderson, and he's played it in square to Midland. He shoots, and it's a wonderful save from Pidgeley, and Pidgeley complains about the marking in front of him. It's gone for a corner kick, but that would have been 3-0. But his county have been saved by Pedgley there, a full stretch to his right hand side and he stopped a third certain goal for Rochdale. He takes it, it's a good one into the box, two or three, miss it, 
and somehow they contrived to put it wide of goal and again it was Cummins, the scorer after 36 minutes came as a result of Rawley's awful attempt at just poofing the ball long it's, this is really really poor stuff Lund has got through them again and they're drawn out of position the ball is played in Allen arrived to the far post it's gone for a goal kick but I've got to say Michael I was saying this after five minutes Vincenti after four minutes Cummings with the second after 36 that's the difference between the two sides there's a lot more than that in terms of the way the teams are played but the ball is helped on Washington is in on goal can he do something Washington and the referee is going to give a penalty for the foul and here is their chance for the foul on Washington Rochdale are complaining but the referee is given a penalty now can they do something with this it's a penalty to Newport County for the foul on Washington he was in the box they are complaining bitterly it's the referee who has given it Lancashire who is the captain is at the assistant referee the county have been given a lifeline here referee blows his whistle and the keeper has saved it and the keeper has saved the penalty from Chapman it was a good save it had to be saved and it really isn't county's day he struck it well but he put it a little bit too central really the penalty and the keeper did well he has saved it and it really is not county state him and uh, Rafferty takes the ball back finds Jackson Jackson played inside there but uh, county still got it with Sabrowski Sabrowski on the far side Sabrowski holds it up plays it square finds Pipe Pipe one touch takes it on then finds Wilmot on the touchline beautifully played through Vigenti by Wilmot played inside he's still got it but they have now managed to clear the ball this is better from County as Jackson heads the ball up in the air it's held up by Connor Washington he's got Mitchell behind him and now it's with Sabrowski now it's with Mitchell crossed inside they've still got it but County is with Mitchell again ball is crossed inside but Allen clears it as far as Jackson is going for it but he is beaten to it the county have won it with Rawley ball is played forward but that goes all the way through to Josh Rivers they pick up the loose ball we are now halfway through the second half today. to me Michael they, they've looked sharper they've looked quicker on the ball it's been a game too far possibly for county they're going through now again there's Pike gets it back but it's Vincenti and it's going to be 3-0 and it is 3-0 and that is so so easy the mistake was from Pike the goal has come and it is the substitute Bastian Harry who has put the ball into the net and it's all so so easy the mistake from Pipe who has held, held his head down he's only been on the pitch oh, a little over a minute it's 3-0 finds Gary Dicker he in turn finds Lund and Lund transfers the ball to the far side where he finds Rafferty Rafferty transfers the ball back with Lancashire then with Dicker again with Lancashire it's all too easy at the moment as the ball is played over the top what a pass that is but uh, and they're in again and the ball is played in and it's, it's hit the post from the far side and they've escaped but they haven't yet it's Vincenti plays it in it should have been four what the team do next week now and they've got to show their baffling qualities but it'll be very interesting uh, but I'll interrupt what I was going to say because Rafferty is coming forward over halfway square ball into Henderson's feet Henderson lays it back they're coming at them again it's Lund Lund shoots from distance and it's a wonderful save by Pidgeley and it's a really needed to he's a full stretch there and he stopped a fourth one and it is a corner kick and they're going to make two more substitutions and Donnelly who is a good striker for them he's had a three match suspension he's coming on and so is Doe Crows picked up the ball for County it's with Sabrowski Sabrowski inside his own half back to Chapman Chapman in the halfway holds it up switches play again to the far side one touch there back with Sir Chapman again played into Naylor Naylor played it straight away to Chapman ball on the far side Jackson it's back now and it's with Chapman again ball is played over the top and County pick up the loose ball can they get a consolation here would be good if they can and Jackson takes the ball to the byline he's going to win a corner kick so here's an opportunity for County with uh, two minutes a little over two minutes left 
in comes the corner kick it's a good one it's deep into the goal mouth but it's headed wide and it's going to be a goal kick and kick it of course goal kick is taken Pitchley that's the final whistle the referee I'm afraid to say it's Port County out of their misery it has finished Rochdale 3 Newport County 0